Let's talk about how to avoid the use of first person. Here is a sample. I believe that Adolf Hitler was responsible for starting World War II in Europe. Notice what happens when we simply cross out I believe that. Why do we avoid first person? They make the passages wordy. Historians assume you wrote it, so you must believe it. And it may promote the belief that what you are writing is personal opinion, not the result of a plausible interpretation of evidence. There are times when writing in the first person works. Here's an example from the historian Yehuda Bauer. And it works because he has to provide readers with a definition of Jewish resistance because there is no agreed upon definition. And definition is what divides the historians. Here's another example from Christopher Browning, who is writing an essay. This is an essay, but it began as a conference presentation. And that may be why he has the first person voice there. But it also works because he is trying to set himself apart from other historical interpretations. And so it's appropriate to use the first person. As a rule, though, you still want to keep usage to a minimum to improve the reading experience. Pause the screen and read this example. Now, a potential fix could be that you retain some of the first person because it's maybe allowed in the assignment, but this example reads much more clearly and concisely. Pause the screen to read.